Welcome to GTI Spindle Technology. I'm Tom Honig. I'm here to show you exactly how to use our free vibration analysis kit that we're going to mail to you. And the first thing that's going to happen here, and you'll notice you're going to get an email from Colleen that is going to be titled Redemption Code. And what you're going to do is you're going to hover over that redemption code and you're going to copy it. And then you're going to open the App Store and you're going to tap on your icon for your account go into redeem card and then we're going to paste that number into the app once it comes up here enter code manually and then i'm going to hold my finger there and hit paste and then down and then hit redeem and that should start loading up okay once You've redeemed the code. You'll see the Vibe RMS on your main screen. And what you're going to want to do is tap and open that. And you're going to be met with the opening screen. And you'll notice there's an X with a cable in there telling you that your equipment isn't plugged in. So let's walk over to the equipment side of things. So what you're going to be receiving is a sensor. And this has a magnet base on it. And it simply goes on the front of your spindle on the load end. Start in the horizontal position. There are going to be photos right on the app that's going to explain to you exactly where to put this probe for each measurement that you're going to take. The second piece is the receiver. And the receiver has a lightning plug. It simply plugs into your iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, whatever you're doing the measurements with. And you will notice as soon as I plug that in, just after a few seconds, it's gonna turn into a picture of the sensor that we just communicated. There's no pairing, nothing to do here other than to start by the, in the calibration mode. So in the calibration mode here, you're gonna to wanna to pick the wireless sensor by tabbing it, and then make sure you're highlighted, highlighted on 50 millivolts per G, hit the calibration button, and hit okay. You are now calibrated. Then go back, and you're at the main screen. It says measure vibration. We're gonna go there and you're met with uh, the first default is a motor. So we go into machine type and we can change that to a spindle, pump, motor, blower, all kinds of things. But in this case, it'll be a spindle. Tap the main screen and now it becomes a spindle. You're gonna only be able to access these three main points. And on the axial, be very careful. If you don't have the room for the magnet, it's gonna rub on the sensor. Don't take the reading, it's okay. Um, we'll be able to diagnose the data without it. But if you can get it and you can do it safely, by all means, do that. So what we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna go back over to the motor here and we're gonna turn it on to take our data. Now with your spindle, what you're gonna do is you're gonna run it at the max speed possible with the tool, uh, not to exceed what tool is in it, meaning go by the rating of what that tool is. And the max speed will give us the max energy to know exactly whether this is in balance, misaligned, or has impending bearing failure. Any of that will be able to detect that on our end. But what you have to do is turn the sensor on. You can do that before you put it on or after. If it's solid blue, it's on and it's transmitting. Uh, to check that, you can also go into and look at the spectrum and see that I've got my one times running speed there and I can see that's running and it's giving me data. What I do is wherever I have that arrow pointing to and where I have the sensor, I tap that bar. It'll fill in with green. You're gonna tap the velocity button, switch to acceleration, you're gonna tap it again. Then I can go back over to my spindle and move the probe to the secondary position, which is vertical. Make sure it's mounted and it has a few seconds to settle. And now I'm gonna to go to that vertical position. I'm gonna tap that data. And then I'm going to switch the velocity and make sure I capture both. Very important to capture both for us. Then I'm going to try to get in the axial position, which with this motor, I cannot do that. You have a spinning wheel in the way. It's not safe. Um, if you can get it on there, try it. You can also reach it by the rear. I'll take it from the rear here. And I'll indicate that I'm taking it from the rear instead of the front. If you can get on the front, fine. Tap it once. Switch to acceleration. Tap it twice, remember that on all points. Then you can hit the report button. A report will pop up. You can see all the spectrums, all the data is in there for us. Hit the email with the little mail button here and it will automatically put it in a PDF. And then you simply type our address in, which is info at 
gtispindle.com. Once that's filled in, you hit the send button, and now we have the data and we can analyze that data and get back to you and tell you whether there's anything wrong with whatever asset that you've measured, spindle, motor, pump, whatever. Um, so um, this is as simple as it gets. Um, give us a call if you have any questions, 603-669-5993, or you can reach out to us on the web at www.gtispindle.com.